Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special counsel to look into the classified documents that were found at President Biden's home in office from his time as vice president. Meanwhile, Fox News and the GOP have been stoking a ridiculous new freakout about gas stoves. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. When it comes to job approval ratings, Joe Biden went through a rough stretch last year. His numbers were down, gas prices were up, inflation was rampant, and he was constantly getting hammered by reporters with tough questions. You could see it in his body language. During press conferences, he just closed his eyes and <laughs> put his head down like the questions were causing him physical pain. That's what my mom does when my dad starts telling a story she's heard multiple times. <laughs> oh, my God. Nobody cares that the car wash forgot to charge you for the spray wax. <laughs> and you can tell just how low his confidence was. Remember how he used to do that thing where he'd list his accomplishments, but he'd whisper them into the mic like they were a secret? Hey, guys. I think it's time to give ordinary people a tax break. I made it clear to my friends up in uh, Nantucket in that area. I don't want to hear any more about you don't like looking at him. You know, uh, Michelle, he knows, we all know, he couldn't have done it without you. Ask me, well, you know, guess what? Employers can't find workers. I said, yeah, pay them more. I wrote the bill on the environment. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. Biden was so cautious at the time, he was afraid people would find out what he was doing. Look. Let's just keep this between you, me, and the TV cameras, okay? I mean, was he answering questions at a press conference or trying not to spook a horse? Was that the press conference where all the reporters were horses? <laughs> all right, steady now, steady. Let's do this in an orderly fashion. Any questions? Whoa, whoa! That whisper is the same move I pull when I try to trick my kids into doing something they don't want to do. All right, guys, I got a super duper secret mission for you, but you, you can't tell mom. We got to clean up all our Legos as fast as possible. <laughs> but they know it's bull so they immediately start making demands. I want a lollipop, I want a Paw Patrol, and they just keep screaming at me until I pull a Biden. Point is, things weren't going great for Biden polling-wise. Then he scored a string of legislative victories. Gas prices fell, inflation slowed down, unemployment stayed low, and Republicans melted down after a disastrous midterm election that left them with a weak and fractious majority in the House. And according to The Economist, Biden's net job approval is now positive with 47% who approve versus 45% who disapprove. Those are Biden's best numbers since July 2021. I mean, I would say Biden did cartwheels through the White House when he heard those numbers, but I think we all know that would not end well. We play... <laughs> we play that clip a lot, but here's the deal. If you're the most powerful person in the world and you somehow trip up the stairs, not once, but multiple times. We gonna roast you. You know, in fact, I have a button on my desk that I can press at any time to roll that clip in case of an emergency or if Wally accidentally has a wardrobe malfunction. Well, that's ridiculous, Seth. How would I have a wardrobe malfunction? Wally, why are you holding the cue cards up in front of your chest like that? Oh, this? I just forgot to put on my nipple covers today. Wanna see? No! 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 <laughs> The point is, Biden's approval ratings are up now, and Americans are happy with the way he's doing his job. He's riding high, and I'm sure nothing, nothing could possibly screw that up. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed a special counsel to oversee the investigation of classified documents found on President Biden's property. Just, it's a big story. I thought it'd be a longer clip. <laughs> oh, sure, when Trump, when it's classified documents for Trump, 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, you play it one more time, I'll show you what it was supposed to look like. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed a special counsel to oversee the investigation of classified documents found on President Biden's property. Well, or as 
Biden would say, well, <laughs> So obviously, obviously it's not great for Biden that there's a special counsel looking into the storage of classified documents from his time as vice president. Although there are huge differences between this and Trump's case, which we'll get to in a sec, Biden's team reportedly found a small number of documents in two locations, including the garage where his Corvette is parked, which he was asked about today. According to President Joe Biden, these classified documents were found in his personal library and in the garage of his home in Wilmington, Delaware. Just moments ago, Biden addressed the matter very briefly, saying it was a locked garage where he also keeps his Corvette. Let me, uh, the, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. But uh, as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. I mean, I guess if you're going to store classified documents somewhere, you might as well do it next to your kick-ass Corvette, you know? <laughs> so that when they eventually find him, you can brag that you have a Corvette. <laughs> I mean, if I took classified documents, I'd keep them next to my Emmy statue just so when the feds came to my house, I could say, oh, that old thing, it's just an Emmy award. It's for songwriting, but they all count the same. <laughs> I will say it's a fitting place to find them considering Trump had his classified documents in Mar-a-Lago because Biden's Mar-a-Lago is definitely a garage with a Corvette in it. Honey, I'm off to my private club. You mean the garage? That's right. Car-a-lago. <laughs> also, I like Biden's insistence that the Corvette was locked away. That baby's locked away. It's never coming out. One time I left it parked in the street and some kids in the neighborhood took it for a joyride. I'll never forget what I heard as they were driving away. Bueller! <laughs> now, obviously, this is not great for Biden, and he shouldn't have had those documents. Although, personally, I feel like finding a small number of classified documents at someone's home or office is not a big deal, as long as they give them back, which is true for Trump, too. If Trump had just given back all the documents when he was asked, we wouldn't have had a problem, and that's the difference, right? Biden is cooperating fully, turning over all the documents immediately, looking for more. Trump refused to turn them over for more than a year after repeated requests, claims he could declassify them with his mind, lied about them, and even moved them around, which is what led to the FBI search that discovered even more classified documents that Trump had refused to turn over, which makes the GOP attempt to draw a false equivalence between the two very silly. Why aren't they in there right now with subpoenas going through every single record there? Where's classified the raid? documents. Right. Where is the raid? And let me Where's let the me, FBI raid? We have a quote here from Representative James Comer from the Oversight Committee who said, quote, is the White House going to be raided tonight? Are they going to raid the Biden Center? Monday night in a post, Trump asked, when is the FBI going to raid the many homes of Joe Biden? Perhaps even the White House. Why would the FBI raid someone who is already handing over everything they're asking for? I don't know, maybe so they could get a sneak peek at that Corvette? FBI, open up. Now hand over the keys to that car and retract the roof. I want to feel the wind in my hair. <laughs> Why does Trump think they should raid the White House? If there's anywhere classified documents should be, it's the White House. <laughs> Trump would make an awful detective. Okay, guys, now we just need to find some evidence. I say we raid the evidence locker. <laughs> They're all in bags. This is very suspicious. They're all, t they're, if there's labels, everything's in a bag. <laughs> Again, the situation, there's dead bodies in the morgue. Bad news. <laughs> Call homicide, I opened up one of those drawers. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Again, the situations are very different, although the timing is not great, given that Biden has been riding high in the polls. And as a general rule, whenever Biden is riding high, the GOP and Fox News crank up the freako meter to try to scare you about something dumb, like the war on Christmas or woke M&Ms, for example. You might remember that early in Biden's presidency, Fox claimed he was trying to ban hamburgers. Say goodbye to your burgers if you want to sign up for the Biden climate agenda. He wants to cut out 90% uh, of the red meat that you all eat. That's four pounds a year. No burgers on July 4th. No steaks on the Barbie. I'm sure middle America is just going to love that. I'm sorry, but uh, what American refers to the barbecue as the Barbie? <laughs> 
You sound like an Australian spy trying to blend in as an undercover American. <laughs> hey, blokes, who wants to grill some American hamburgers on the Barbie? Then we can go on a walkabout into the outback to look for some koalas, maybe play the didgeridoo. I mean, the guitar. Crikey, I think they're on to me, mate. <laughs> you gotta get me out there as cross as a frog in a sock, oi. I think that was a German pretending to be, that was a German spy <laughs> pretending to be an Australian spy pretending to be an American. <laughs> That's the depths of the accent work I'm doing. <laughs> Hard as it is to believe none of that was true, despite greedy old Joe Biden trying to get his sweaty paws on your hamburgers, red meat was still legal on July 4th. So now Fox has moved on to yet another loopy little freak out. Biden is coming to your house to take away your gas stove. Could the Biden administration be coming for your gas stove? The answer is yes. Joe Biden's climate change agenda now targeting your kitchen. Your family dinner is about to get a lot less tasty. The White House is now attempting to ban all gas ovens and burners. Biden's coming for your gas stove. A ban on your gas stove. Ban gas-powered stoves. A stove like this one could be banned soon. Your gas stove may be bye-bye. I'm not giving up my, my gas stove. If you touch my propane, then I'm really gonna be ticked yeah, off. Yeah, it's not happening. I, Nobody's gonna tell me I can't cook with gas. Nobody's gonna tell me I can cook with gas. You could try, but I'm not gonna hear you because I never stop talking. And when I talk, I can't even hear a jet plane when it flies overhead. <laughs> now, I do say, I just realized if you averaged out Joe Biden and Janine Pirro, you would get one normal speaking voice. <laughs> Then there was Congressman Ronnie Jackson from Texas. You might remember him. Jackson had his own little meltdown on Twitter where he wrote, I'll never give up my gas stove. If the maniacs in the White House come for my stove, then they can pry it from my cold, dead hands. Come and take it. <laughs> I do like to imagine what circumstances would lead to someone dying while clutching their gas stove. <laughs> Honey, I think there's a burglar downstairs. Hand me my stove. Then the cops would show up all confused. Well, I guess we better pry that thing from his cold, dead hands. Good news, Chief, the hands aren't actually that cold, you know, on account of him holding the stove. <laughs> Although I think my favorite example has to be this one from Tucker Carlson, who was in the middle of a segment about something completely different when he said this. At the same time, these same people are telling us that it's, quote, dangerous to use a natural gas stove in your home because of emissions, but they're not concerned about smoking meth? Like, at some point, you have to wonder, like, what, what's really going on here? Yeah, man, what the hell? When are they finally going to make meth illegal? <laughs> but he's right about one thing. You really do have to wonder. I mean, what's going on here? They want to take your stove away, but they don't care if you smoke meth? Or are they going to take your stove and replace it with a meth lab? And then if everyone has a meth lab in their home, what will happen to the price of meth on the street? Will this put hardworking Americans like Gustavo Fring out of work? <laughs> Maybe you're thinking, can he just fall back on his restaurant, Los Pollos Hermanos? Not anymore, he can't. Because they took his stove. <laughs> so here's what... Here's what's actually uh, going on. Recent studies have confirmed something scientists have been researching for a long time, which is that gas stove pollution can be harmful and cause a variety of health problems, including childhood asthma. In fact, the risks are on par with exposure to secondhand smoke. Now, let me just stop here to say that it doesn't exactly shock me to find out that burning gas inside your house on a daily basis might not be, like, the best thing for you. Maybe this is new information, but it can't be that surprising. Like, on the spectrum, of shocking revelations. There's finding out that gas stoves are bad for you, and then there's finding out that Prince Harry had frostbite on his penis at William and Kate's wedding. <laughs> that is a real thing <laughs> from his book. I did not make that up. <laughs> Wally, have you ever had frostbite on your penis? Seth, it's funny you should ask. <laughs> so anyway. Then a member of the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission said this is a hidden hazard. Any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. That was quickly clarified yesterday by the chair of the commission who said, I am not looking to ban gas stoves, and the commission has no proceedings to do so. So the whole freak out 
was much ado about nothing. No one is taking a gas stove. That said, you can get cash incentives from the government to switch to an electric or induction stove if you want, which is better for both you and the environment, but it is up to you. If you feel really strongly about it, you can keep cooking with gas. You can even use gas to cook, as Americans would say. Steaks on the Barbie. <laughs> There's been a closer look.